Most young men, probably you, are doing something every single day that is ruining their life. Now this could be vaping, watching porn, scrolling on social media, drinking too much, playing video games. These are all addictions. And if you continue to be addicted to these things, you will not achieve your goals. These addictions could be the difference between you achieving all your goals and living a great life and being happy, living your dream life, or being a total failure and hating your life. Everyone is addicted to something in this modern age. Everyone wastes too much time scrolling on social media. Most young men waste all of their free time playing video games or watching porn. And most people will destroy their health by vaping, drinking too much alcohol, or eating junk food for every single meal. These are all addictions that will prevent them from reaching their goals and even just being proud of their achievements. They waste so much time, effort, money, energy on these addictions that they could have used to develop in any other activity doing anything else. Imagine instead of playing video games for say like an hour a day, you go to the gym instead. Whilst it might not be fun at the beginning, by the end of the year, you'll have built muscle. You'll become stronger. Everyone around you will notice that you've gained muscle. You'll become more confident. You'll become more attractive. If you spent that year playing video games, you would have gotten better at playing the game. And that's about it. There's literally almost no other real benefit to playing video games. You may believe that you had a lot of fun and spent good time with your friends playing that video game, but in all honesty, you would have had a lot more fun if you and your friends went down to the gym together and had a fun workout instead. Like Having a fun workout together whilst actually working hard is a million times more rewarding than spending hours playing a game with your friends online. Dedicating an hour a day to video games will have no real benefit to your life, apart from becoming better at playing the game. Whilst dedicating that hour to a productive habit, like going to the gym, will have improved your physical health, your mental health, your confidence, your attractiveness, every other aspect of your life will improve. Even other people's perspective of you will be improved. Going to the gym or doing any other productive habits will improve every aspect of your life. Unlike video games and other negative habits, which are almost addictions, which will have a negative impact on your life. Once you start focusing on doing productive habits like praying, meditating, exercising, reading, and spending less time on these unhealthy addictions like video games and social media, you'll find yourself achieving more being happier, and living a better life. I believe that the reason why so many people are depressed nowadays and have so many mental illnesses is because they spend so much time, they spend so much of their life on these addictions, on these instant gratification addictions that they don't have to put any effort in and they just use it as a distraction away from their normal life. And the truth about it is that these are not addictions at all. They're just bad habits. By calling them an addiction, it allows them to cope about not being strong enough to actually quit the bad habit. It allows them to be victims of their addictions rather than just losers who don't have enough self-control to stop doing the bad habit that's ruining their life. Now, no one is going to say that quitting these bad habits is going to be easy. But it is 100% possible if you have enough discipline and willpower to stop doing them. And if you just take a second to think about it, you'll know absolutely what habits are bad for you and what habits are good for you. Because you'll have that little bit of guilt every time you do it. Every time you spend too much time playing video games or you just like wake up from doom scrolling for a couple hours and realize, oh shit, I just wasted so much of my time. Now, even though you will need discipline and willpower to stop doing these bad habits, the best way to stop doing it is to make it harder to do that habit. Find a way to add more effort and more time into doing that habit. 
I was spending way too much time scrolling on Instagram Reels, so I just deleted the app. That meant that I was unable to scroll unless I re-downloaded the app, which helped me stop wasting hours just doom scrolling and wasting my life. If you spend too much time playing video games, after you can just remove the console, unplug all the cables and put it away. So if you feel that urge to play the games, you have to spend like 10 minutes taking it out, plugging the cables in, setting up on the TV before you can play. That's an extra barrier that will stop you from doing that bad habit. Now this is the best method I've used to stop doing bad habits. Another way I found extremely useful is using a habit tracker to track your progress in not doing a habit. And the best thing about having a habit tracker is it will cause you to not want to do the habit as it will ruin your progress. You have to put a big X over like no fab or something and showing that you were a failure when you said that you were gonna quit doing this bad habit. When you allow these bad habits to run your life, you can fall into a downward spiral where one ha bad habit leads to you feeling bad, feeling lazy, and feeling depressed. This will cause you to want to cover up these negative feelings by doing more bad habits, which will continue to make you feel worse. This will continue and make you feel more and more useless and depressed, and it could ruin your life. However, once you stop doing the bad habits and replace them with good ones, you'll feel better, you'll feel more productive, you'll feel happier, which will lead to you doing more good habits, which will make you feel even better, and that will cause you to go on an upward spiral instead. Now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.